The idea of Ryan Reynolds, the actor who plays Deadpool, buying Marvel might sound a bit wild at first. Marvel, after all, is a massive superhero brand owned by Disney, one of the biggest companies in the world. But there's been a lot happening behind the scenes, especially around the making of Deadpool 3. Ryan and Disney seem to be having some serious disagreements, and some fans think that if things keep going this way, Ryan might actually try to buy Marvel and bring it back to what fans love. For those who may not know, Disney and Marvel have been creating superhero movies for years, featuring characters like Iron Man, Captain America, and the Avengers. Recently though, Disney's been focusing on other kinds of projects, many of which don't involve Marvel superheroes. Ryan Reynolds and others hope Disney would invest some of the success from Deadpool 3 Inches and Wolverine into creating more movies that Marvel fans are excited about. Instead, Disney has been using a big chunk of the money made by these movies for projects that haven't had as much fan interest. And that's where things start to get complicated. Deadpool's comeback and Disney's surprising decisions. Ryan and his team put a lot of work into making Deadpool 3 Inches a movie that fans would love. Deadpool movies are known for their unique style, funny, surprising, and sometimes a little crazy. This isn't a typical superhero movie with a perfect hero. Instead, Deadpool is a character who jokes around, breaks rules, and doesn't always do what he's supposed to. With Wolverine also coming back in the movie, fans couldn't wait. And Deadpool 3 Inches set new box office records. This success seemed like it would only make Disney more eager to invest in Marvel and keep delivering what fans wanted. But then Disney took a surprising turn. Instead of reinvesting in Marvel movies, they chose to put about half of Deadpool 3's profits into other projects that have less fan support. These projects focused more on diversity and inclusion, which can be great. But fans worried these movies weren't being created with the same attention to story and excitement that made Marvel famous. Ryan Reynolds was also concerned because he felt Disney wasn't using the success of Deadpool to make Marvel better. This decision upset Ryan and his team, sparking a lot of tension between them and Disney. Could Ryan Reynolds buy Marvel? Believe it or not, Ryan Reynolds isn't just an actor. He's actually a very successful businessman. Over the years, Ryan has made smart investments that have earned him hundreds of millions of dollars. Many people know him as Deadpool or from his other famous movies, but he has also built a reputation as a great entrepreneur. In 2020, he made a huge deal when he sold his company, Aviation Gin, for around $610 million. Then, in 2023, he sold Mint Mobile, a wireless phone company he had invested in for a massive $1.35 billion. Ryan made a big profit from these deals, and his net worth is now estimated to be over $400 million. Because of his success in business, some people think that Ryan Reynolds might be able to pull off buying Marvel if Disney ever decided to sell. He's made so much money, and he knows how to work with investors. Some major business figures might support Ryan if he decided to take this huge step. They know he has the talent to make projects succeed, especially in entertainment, and many believe he could help Marvel grow in new ways. Why buying Marvel isn't as crazy as it sounds. Disney has been facing some problems recently. Their stock has dropped, and some of their latest movies haven't done as well at the box office. This includes movies that focus on diversity and inclusion, but haven't connected with large audiences. If Disney continues struggling, some experts think they might consider selling parts of Marvel or even the whole brand if they needed cash quickly. This is where Ryan could come in. If Disney did decide to sell Marvel, Ryan would have a unique chance to buy it. He wouldn't have to do it alone either. There are many Hollywood and business people who admire him and might join forces to make this dream a reality. With Ryan in charge, Marvel could go back to making the kinds of movies fans loved in the early years of the Marvel Cinematic Universe (MCU). What Marvel would look like under Ryan Reynolds If Ryan Reynolds ever bought Marvel, fans could expect some big changes. Ryan understands what fans want because he's been involved in the making of Deadpool movies and always listens to feedback. He believes in creating movies that stay true to their characters, 
without forcing a certain message. In recent Marvel movies, some fans feel like Disney has put too much focus on adding certain messages or checking boxes rather than focusing on exciting stories and character development. Ryan's leadership would likely bring back a focus on storytelling and creativity, especially in the Deadpool and X-Men movies. He'd probably allow directors and writers to take more risks, much like how the first Deadpool movie broke new ground with its R-rated humor and chaotic style. Unlike Disney, which wants all Marvel movies to fit into a neat, family-friendly style, Ryan would likely encourage films that appeal to older audiences, allowing for more intense or mature themes when needed. Another thing fans would notice under Ryan's leadership would be more engagement with the audience. Ryan is known for his social media presence and hilarious marketing campaigns. He understands that fans want to feel like they're part of the journey. Imagine a Marvel Universe where fans could help shape the stories and provide input directly. Ryan would likely create a Marvel that listens closely to its fans, giving them movies that feel like they're made just for them. Fixing Past Marvel Mistakes If Ryan took over Marvel, he might also have the chance to fix some of the things fans haven't liked about recent Marvel projects. This could include reworking character arcs that didn't connect with audiences or even undoing certain storylines that were unpopular. Ryan could focus on characters like Wolverine, Deadpool, and other fan favorites, making them the main stars of Marvel. Instead of following Disney's model of releasing as many movies as possible, Ryan would probably focus on quality over quantity. He wouldn't make movies just to fill a schedule or sell merchandise. He'd aim to make each one special, treating them with care so fans would get excited for each new release. Why fans and Hollywood might support Ryan Not only would Marvel fans be thrilled to see Ryan take charge, but many Hollywood creators would be on board too. Directors, writers, and actors who feel stifled by big studio rules would see Ryan as a leader who puts creativity and storytelling first. Some creators like Jon Favreau and James Gunn have already had issues with Disney's strict policies and might welcome a new direction for Marvel. Ryan's good friends in Hollywood, like Hugh Jackman, who plays Wolverine, would likely support him in his vision. On social media, fans would likely rally behind him with hashtags. Hash Reynolds for Marvel could trend as fans urge Disney to make the change. Ryan has a way of connecting with fans, and people trust him to create movies they'll love. In many ways, it seems like fans would be more than willing to support a Marvel led by Ryan Reynolds. Could this really happen? So, could Ryan Reynolds actually buy Marvel? It's not a sure thing, but it's certainly possible if Disney's problems continue. Disney has already faced financial issues with recent movies not meeting expectations and big investments not paying off as they'd hoped. If things don't improve, they might seriously consider selling parts of Marvel to get back on track. This would be Ryan's chance to step in with a team of investors who believe in his vision. If Ryan did take control, he could lead Marvel into a new era, one where storytelling is the priority, not just making more movies for profit. Fans would know that Marvel movies are being made by someone who genuinely cares about the characters and understands what fans want. The Future of Marvel if Ryan Reynolds bought Marvel, it wouldn't just be about making more movies. It would be a chance for Marvel to connect with fans in new ways and make them feel part of something special again. Ryan would focus on bringing characters like Wolverine, Deadpool, and the X-Men to life in a way that stays true to who they are while taking risks and experimenting with new styles. In the end, the question isn't just about whether Ryan can afford to buy Marvel. It's about whether Disney can afford to keep pushing him away. If things continue as they are, Ryan Reynolds might just be the person who can bring Marvel back to the golden days of thrilling stories, beloved characters, and unforgettable moments.